Hi everyone, this is Arfin and today we are going to calculate price value basis point which is PVO1. So let's just start. Import numpy as np. Import numpy underscore financial as npf. Let's run this. Actually, I just reinstalled my Jupyter Notebook. So a lot of libraries are missing. Let me restart this and then let's try. All right, it's working now. So in my previous video, uh, you can find the link below. I have calculated bond price as well as yield to maturity. So in order to calculate the price of the bond, what are the information uh, we are required? So it's basically face value. We also need annual interest rate. We need air or airs, whatever it is. We need coupon rate. So these are the input required in order to calculate the price of the bond. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this in a function. So let's do this. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a function called PV price value and under price value, we need face value, annual interest, period in years, coupon rate. Okay, uh, I will not put PV factor here. For now, I'm just calculating the price and then in the next step, I'll show you what exactly I just need to add in order to calculate the price. So we need coupon payment. So it gonna be your coupon rate, which is this one, multiply by face value. So we can just copy and paste it here. Need price, actual. So why I'm saying actual price is because I'm going to calculate price based on the interest rate shock, which we are going to put here. So in this case, PVO1, that's why I just put actual price. So at first I want to calculate actual price and then based on that, I will calculate price when interest rate is going up and the price when interest rate is going down. So NPF dot, these are the options we have available. We want present value. So it's PV, annual interest. So we can just copy this here, period in air, comma, coupon payment, comma, face value into minus one. I want to print this actual bond price is, what's the price? Price actual. Now let's run this and then call this function PV. So let's say our face value is 100 comma interest rate 14, 0, 4, 5 here. So let's say four years, coupon 1426. Let's run this. Uh, all right. Annual interest. So the bond price is 100.62. Perfect. Now I'm going to calculate price up, price down. So price up means my interest rate is going up. So for that, we need to just pass PV rate. So whatever the price value we want to calculate on whatever shop, okay, we can just put it here. All right. So interest price when interest rate is going up will be uh, PF dot PV. So the annual interest rate when interest rate is going up. So what I'm going to do PV underscore rate divided by 10,000, which is the basis point the equation when interest rate is going up so periods and air will remain the same there will be no change uh coupon payment
comma face value into minus one. Price down is equal to n c f dot present value annual interest rate minus. So here we are going to uh, assume that interest rate is going down. So what will happen? PV underscore rate divided by 10,000 comma periods in air, period in air, coupon payment, face value, sorry, into minus one. All I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the same, paste it here. One price when rate when rate is going up. So it's gonna be price underscore up. Similarly, one price when it, when rate is going down, and here it will be down. All right, perfect. So let's run this we already have this equation so i'm just going to leave it as it is and then copy this paste it here comma let's say one dips so let's run this perfect so the actual price of the bond is 100.62 okay let me do one more thing here i don't want any 10 decimal or 15 decimal. So what I'm going to do, round this comma, let's say four decimal point. Similarly, let's run this first and then perfect. So similarly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same comma four, comma four, run this again, perfect. So if you want to calculate, let's say, 10 whips, all you need to do is just shift me to 10, change the interest rate. Uh, let's say uh, if I want to change the yield, so 13%, we can see the difference here in the price. Uh, if you want to decrease the coupon, let's say 12%. So here you go. So that's it for today. Hope you like the video and please if you still didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe and hit the like button and please let me know if this video is helpful for you so on that way i will be able to make more videos because your support will motivate me to work as much as i can for you guys thank you so much